Hello people um, Right now I'm just going to uh, share to you some experience I got on mapping with Batch Computer Valve Hammer Editor um, I usually I usually make maps for Counter Strike so I hope you do as well so you can make uh, the same stuff I do or you can get some ideas first of all download the files that I just give you a link uh, under the description on under the video you know when you download you have to export extract I mean anywhere you want the one a var file and just open it and go to batch computer folder and run the access file batch computer 3.12 you have to run this click accept run I mean, next next associate with bsp files psp it's a good thing i will show you later why click launch batch computer uh, that's my settings all settings i mean this is the this settings that you're going to use as well okay just it will be like like this an empty thing first you click know what textures we are on the csg tab know what textures is for when you compile a map you just get the map file bsp file if you don't tick this you have to what have to detect uh, or what config path and so on and it will be confusing and so on so it's better not to have separate files from textures it's better to be compiled together and here on what file you just browse some what textures you can you choose the what file textures from the files I just provided to you half-life what and from the folder half-life tools the a z h l t what z h l t is very important texture uh, file because it has the null texture which doesn't take a memory from uh, any anything you just map and so on uh, you will just do this first and I will show you on the next tutorials more stuff right now we click we tick this everything that's all we need tick CG tick BSP tick VS tick rod rip and and batch don't tick HL and steam if you want your maps when you compile a map so uh, after you compare the mark uh, you will be directly connected to counter-strike or anywhere any half-life and see your map if you want like this just click HLX and steam if you have seen if not you have to just put it yourself the map file on the directory click BSP click max node size and put 8000 192.0 now via s click vice this type and put full that's it if you want to compile your map when you finish with your map click this and keep this ticked if you just do test and tick via s okay on what you put you click uh, tick the extra tick bounce and put 20 is the max smooth max smoothness is 150 or 80 but let's use 150 not make it too much we don't need it and then click rat 2 uh, browse the light files light rat from half-life tools click rip and uh, operation export on sure just use texture data 30,000 is it is it data you know your textures on your map for example like data 6 is normal estimate this 
go to batch, click copy BSP, copy rest, copy PTS, delete way we I see, uh, delete end R PT and this and this about log PTS map max it will maybe uh, be important for you later if you're a beginner if you are just having problems or something just watch on HL uh, I don't use this if you want to use this click uh, on the HL click mode and uh, run map if you want to, your map to be run after compiling or not and the steam mode C strike as well uh, counter strike and so on run map or not and then you have to tick this too and tick it for now click options setup now stage part is the CSG X BSP VIS run and so on on CSG you just browse here on the map uh, the files uh, you just download click half-life tools and open the HLCGX do the same thing until the rip end yeah and as I said before if you want your map to be run after a compiling just browse HLX from half-life on your steam folder or whatever and the steam x if you want steam or not then what root you just put the what root what files are just uh, created a folder on the files you just download what files to choose and output you use compiled maps for example on the presets you just uh, maybe you don't need it now but if there will be problem after saving for example click ok and click save present as testing batch and click save somewhere and click x key and now as you see I need the files here's the file we just made testing batch if you open it and it will be empty everywhere then you go to options set up again and present and add present and open this one so whatever happens uh, it will open with the with these settings we just made once you finish this put this anywhere you want for example um, on the desktop whatever you everywhere you want and then you just uh, Open your hammer editor, make a map. Just I made for example this thing before, just to show you stuff. Just create a box or a room or anything. Put some light, some player info, and export the map. Let's say batch computer test. Then open your batch computer, the file you just made click here or file open file and batch computer test dot map open this and click run it will compile with full VIS the lights and so on but because the map is just too short it will compile too fast uh, and take it if you have a big project like big map and compile it after you, you uh, like finish the map the last steps well that's it for now as you see we just compile the map batch compiler test I will open it with BSP viewer open and you will see it here that's what we made I move it with the keywords WSAD uh, that's the map we made, it's compiled correctly Right, correctly That's it for now If you get any problems, just uh, post on Just comment Or you can contact me, I will put some info That's it I hope you understand Mapping is not easy 
for beginners especially because they just give up on little things sorry for my english if you didn't understand ask me if you want no problem that's it for now if you want a tutorial how to use or set up valve hammer editor uh, just uh, check my other vid video I just made and that's it thank you very much and you have a great day